Hello everybody, how are we doing again today? My name is Matt, welcome back to the channel, eBay Pipes Man. So if you hadn't already, go back and watch my last video. I'm gonna be doing a giveaway probably sometime this week, gonna give away some gift cards to Marshalls, Ross and Burlington. And just go over there and watch that video. I'll put a screenshot up right here and follow the instructions. Uh, but today, of course, we're going source. We're going to hit the usual stores and see what we can find. I always want to say thank you to all you subscribers out there. If you are new, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. As always, wish me some luck and we will see you in just a minute. All right, everybody. So not the craziest finds out here today, but I will show you what they had out there. Got these uh, 270 Reacts. I believe those were grade school, 40 bucks. Got some of these Nike fly knit running shoes. I cannot remember the name of these. $45 I did end up passing, uh, but definitely a good price on those. Got some of these Under Armour shoes. I looked these up and no solds, but definitely you want to be looking up some of those. Some of those can do really well. Got some of these Hirachi right here. These are a used size, size 4.5. The comps were terrible on those, but I always like to show you what I've been seeing different out here. These are some kind of Jordan. I believe it's Gravities. Uh, these were size 16. They did have three sold comps uh, for $100 with free shipping, but these were $65. And I know they're super heavy, so just not a lot of profit uh, there in my opinion. Not something I want to take a chance with. And I, I hadn't seen these before. They got some of these Adidas Day Joggers. Uh, 40 bucks on these, but no sold comp, so in, I did end up passing on those. And the only thing I picked up at this Ross was these Air Max 97s. Uh, these are youth, I believe they're size 4.5. 35 bucks on those. I think they'll make some decent money. I used to always want to double up on my shoes, but you know, sometimes now if I'm buying a shoe for under $40, I don't mind making a profit of $20 or $25. These some, those are some Adidas Climacool. Uh, those were a small size, six and a half. These are some uh, Prestos. I did sell one of these the other day on Macari for $77 plus shipping. So I made about $27. So I went ahead and picked up two more pair of those. Uh, these are just some kind of uh, Nike trainers that I've seen at Burlington uh, that I hadn't seen before. Uh, definitely not good comps on those. Uh, same thing here. These are some Nike uh, Roshi golf shoes. These are women's, but I did sell a men's pair today for $89 plus shipping, and those usually run about 20 bucks. The women's only sell for about $50 or $60. This is a great pickup right here. Uh, Nike Superfly 7 Elite, 30 bucks on those. And you've seen what they're selling for, like 120 to 135. And they did have the bag there with them too. Uh, so these are just some uh, low-end baseball cleats. Uh, I think all three of these were like $5. And they'll probably bring anywhere from like 25 to 30 dollars so uh not a ton of profit but i mean low buy cost and you know good return on your money and that's what it's all about so that here are some adidas ones see right there five dollars uh, always when you're in these stores uh, pick up the shoes look for the price look for those red tags these were like double clearance uh so i mean those shoes, those three shoes right there should make about $45 and you only spent $15. So uh, hard to go wrong with that. These are some uh, Nike Merlin uh, soccer balls, um, ACC. Uh, retail $160 on those. They were only $13 and bringing about $65 or $70. Uh, this is an uh, Umbro shirt I thought was pretty cool. I know Umbro stuff don't do the best. But anyway, uh, retail $100 on this. And it was only $12.99. So I thought I'd pick this one up, take it home, do a little more research on it, and see if I could make some money on it. And this was another one. I think this is a Brooklyn one. Um, this one looks more like a jersey and still had a retail uh, price on it of $100. And it was the same as the other one, $13. Bucks. 
Uh, so like I said, I'm going to test these two out and see how it goes. That's one way to figure out, you know, if this stuff sells. I just hadn't had the best luck with Umbro stuff. But anyway, we are in, uh, where is this, Ross. And just browsing through here, I want to show you some of the items they had. Got these hardened step backs. I think these were 35 bucks. And here are some more hardens. These were youth. These are pretty neat colorway. Um, I did end up passing on those, but those were pretty good price, 30 bucks. And I did find a pair of those Climacools. These are size nine. And actually I sold a pair, not this colorway, but I sold a pair on GOAT for 105. Right here's the screenshot. Uh, so you definitely want to be looking up some of these Climacools. And uh, I did end up getting these Hardens right here. These were a small size, a men's size six. Uh, but everybody's listed pretty high on GOAT. There was none listed on eBay. So I thought I'd take a chance on those. And those were only 30 bucks. Uh, so we're just going to test them out and see how it goes. And I did end up finding this Adidas soccer glove. Uh, soccer gloves retail price was $80 on it. And it was only about, no, it was only 10 bucks. So uh, definitely thought that would make a little bit of money. And uh, lo and behold, I found five more soccer balls and another Burlington. Uh, so I picked up 10 of these today. So if these only make $30 a piece, that's still $300. Uh, so that's just what I found out here today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please stay tuned. I'll be uploading some more soon and be doing the giveaway. Everybody take care out there. Stay safe and God bless.